Layers are a very important feature in Ninja Skin Tools. It's quite hard to explain other tools in here without covering layers first. Let's go through the basics. I will explain the reasons why I think you need skinning layers and we'll have a look at how to use them. So, what are layers for? Layers are a tool to take a complex thing and split it into simple things. I always like to take a shoulder as an example because the first time you try to skin this area it's like, oh my god. So first of course we have the spine, then we have the shoulders, the arm, and in this rig we also have some additional fun like we have breathing controls. And we also have an additional corrective which helps a bit with the shape retention when we lift the arm. So if you try to skin this thing traditionally, it's doable, but it's a huge nightmare. You can take all of this complexity and split it into layers. So first you take just the spine and you skin it like you would skin a cylinder. You ignore all the other joints. In this layer, you only have the spine and you look at the silhouette. You look at how it twists. Uh, does it look smooth? And that's it. You keep it. You proceed on to shoulder and the shoulder is on a separate layer. So if I just uh, did this, like uh, I completely destroyed what I did to the shoulder. So removed all the weight. My spine is intact. I can experiment adding things here and removing. But the key message is that I already did the spine. It's on a separate layer. I can't destroy it in any way right now. Once I'm happy with the shoulders, we add the arm. Again, arms are on the separate layer. When I work on this layer, we only think about, okay, so we have this tube, which consists of multiple, um, multiple twists. So twist number one, two, three, four. And then I paint the mask saying, okay, so you will only affect this area. So again, I'm splitting the task into two, into two smaller tasks. Okay, now we just uh, work on the layer as a whole and uh, see, okay, and does the shape look good? Like I lower the arm, does the shoulder look good? And then I proceed to correctives and uh, other overlay things. So in here I have a joint that rotates as I lift the arm. For that I have a layer. You can see that the difference is minimal, but quite important. So if I didn't have this on as I lift the arm, the volume is lost here. And I have this separate layer that I can play with and say, okay, if I just had it more of this or less of this, uh, how would this affect the rest of the deformation? If I enable this, I'm definitely affecting other poses like arm forward. Um, where is it? Yeah, so you can see, you just have to look at this and decide artistically if this looks good to you. Uh, the same with breathing controls. But in here we have to be careful that adding a lot of influence in here for the breathing controls might destroy the silhouette of the spine. As I work on under this layer, I say, okay, if I disable breathing controls, does it look too different? So yeah, you can see I'm sacrificing a bit of silhouette, but uh, but for the sake of having more control in the rig, that's fine. So yeah, splitting complex things into simple things. That's reason number one to use layers. So the reason number two to have layers is the ability to go back and refine things. So remember what we did with the arm. We had a mask which says how the arm connects to the body. But now if we're not happy with this twist, we can come in and say, hmm. Maybe I will add a bit to this joint so it twists somehow differently. But I keep the lowering of the arm intact. In fact, I could just uh, flood everything to this joint. And if you see, I didn't break anything in the rig. All I broke is the twisting in the arm, which now belongs to single joint. So that's my take on how I would explain layers to new NG Skintools users.
If you find this useful, stay tuned for more tutorials and you'll see in what ways layers are important for other NGSkin tools features as well. Bye for now.